Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome, we are back with another FIFA 21 Ultimate Team video. And this one is all about some of the best links that you can get at the start of the game. And then if you've got a few more coins, what players to be looking out for. So I think that you're going to enjoy this one, and it is the 19th of September. I can't believe it. It has gone pretty quick. The last few days, though, leading up to uh, FIFA 21 is going to go really, really slow. But we're still waiting for the demo. EA haven't dropped. The database, the full database, come on. It would have been out, well, this time last year because the full release would have already been out. All right, that doesn't make sense because they had to delay Fever 21. We'll release it. Uh, but if you are enjoying the content, leaving a thumbs up would be absolutely amazing. And if you are new to the channel, you do not want to miss the upcoming Fever 21 content. Hit that subscribe button right now. But what we're going to do is jump straight into a potential transfer that is basically confirmed. Uh, every source is saying that it's a done deal. Jota. Five-star week for over to Liverpool. This is going to be an insane move. Not only is it fantastic for chemistry because there are so many more desirable Liverpool cards that you'd actually want to use, but looking at the quick link, newly transferred players, bang. Maybe not so much like a starter team. The left-back will, but with Jota left forward, my initial price prediction if he was at Wolves would have been like around 5,000 or so, like 5,000 coins with that weak foot. But because he's moved over to Liverpool, maybe like 25,000, 30,000. I don't know because he's going to have very, very good stats, really good depth for, for Liverpool. Like if Firmino's injured or whoever, Jota can play literally anywhere in the attack. But looking at the way he's going to play, meta. And that's all you need to know when it comes to price. Expensive. But what a pairing. That's probably what I'm going to build. Like, maybe for a second week in league or a first week in league. I don't know. Like, that's the kind of player that you want to be looking out for, in my opinion. So this one here is looking at all kinds of spicy. When you go and build a starter team, don't even kid yourself. You feel a pace first. Well, I do. And this is what I've been able to find. Sanchez looking so well balanced as a centre mid. And then you've got Bamba, speed, dribbling, balance, shooting and passing. I think that's going to be an awesome link for cheap. Not going to be stupidly cheap where you're going to pick up a Sanchez for 600 coins, but you spend a little and you get more back. Whereas if you go and buy a 600 coin player, it's just not going to work. So make sure you're trading, make sure you're playing, and pay for a bit of quality. You don't have to go crazy, but yeah, just pay for someone like that. I don't think I've ever seen Miguel Almiron stop smiling. And he is one of the best players in the Premier League when it comes to stamina. Work rate. He does not give up. And his card, in all honesty, he should have been upgraded. I think 78 rated is far too low. 80 minimum. He's already got two assists this season. Nice passing, good pace, and like I say, work rate. So he's going to be really, really good for a starter team. And then you look at Yedlin. If he doesn't transfer over to the Turkish League, what I find really weird is it's been rumored that we're going to let him go for free, but he's still got a year left on his contract. Or maybe I've misread that. Or we're going to be signing someone from the Turkish League. But these two together, if Yedlin stays, and that's not a done deal, I mean, that is just pace, speed. Uh, we've got a few other players from Newcastle that you might want to link uh, Amaran up to. So don't worry. If Yedlin disappears, we've got a few more options. But keep an eye on Amaran. I think he's going to be good for star squads. So when an average player looks at this link, they check out the right winger and say, Fuj, I don't want to use that pace. Nah, too slow for me. But they don't have that 200 IQ ultimate team brain. Start him as a cam. And you have got... One of the best looking cams, seriously, for the price that he's going to set you back. If it's in the air divisie, which he is, so cheap. You know that that Malin as well is going to get used quite a bit at the start. Now, this is maybe a little bit more expensive, though, but you're paying for quality. What did I mention a couple of minutes ago? You want to pay for what you get. And these two together, I think that that's going to be used quite a bit. Let me know if you like the look of that. So with this one, we don't have any crazy chemistry, just the standard links. But what I wanted to bring to your attention are the players from Italy, the mid-budget sides, low-spending squads, El Shirari, Bernadeschi, Giovinco, Romagnoli, Tonali, the list just continues. You're going to want to build national sides, in my opinion. If you're struggling for chemistry anyway, or you don't want to build like full leagues, just go for... Um, a set nation. And I think Italy are going to be really, really good this year. And I'm not being biased. 
Like, those cards there, to me, just look awesome. I like this one a lot. And one of the reasons why is because earlier in the video, what did I show you? The striker, Malin, and that slow right winger who looks unbelievable for a cam. Now, I basically built you an attack in a 4-3-3. But what you can do is switch that up to a 4-2-3-1. And instead of playing that slow winger on the wing, you can now convert him with Quincy Promes. So Promes out wide and the other guy playing central. This looks awesome. Like that has really everything that you need. Bit of dribbling, bit of pace and good finishing and passing. That's going to get used a lot of the start. Now listen, it's going to be very difficult to predict Lorente's prize. He's been given one of the biggest pace increases I've ever seen but he can back it up with all of his other stats. He's not a player that has all pace, no skill. The dribbling, defending, physical passing, shooting, and the link to Carrasco, oh my. Now this is something that you should be considering if you spent a few fever points or you're just very good at trading. Those are the two players you're gonna be seeing a lot in the weekend league. It's gonna be standard, it's gonna be meta, and I want them. So there's not an awful lot wrong with these two. That is just a solid centre-back partnership. You've got the French and German theme, and that's what I like, because you can take this to the Bundesliga, and then you can also just link it off to Ligue 1. But what you could also do is use Sergio Rico in goal, and you've got a triple link, so you don't have to worry about keeping it in the Bundesliga or Ligue 1. I think they're going to get used a lot. So what I'm going to do is quick fire three extra links. They're all from the same team and it is Brisha Dortmund. You've probably seen these guys already, but I couldn't not include them in this lineup. We're looking at some of the best links to purchase at the start or even a couple of weeks to months into the game cycle. But just Delaney, Thorgan Hazard, Emery Chan, this is solid. And they all come from the same team, as well as like Bayern Munich players, you can get some chemistry. The Bundesliga is looking seriously strong. I think it's just going to be Premier League, Bundesliga, and a few players from Serie A, and then a few players from La Liga. Like these leagues are just super, super strong. But the player I like the look of is Emery Chan. He's got some mad like total stats. And then even Delaney. Delaney was really good at the start of FIFA 20. So I can't see that changing anytime soon. So yeah, make sure you're buying these players for sure. So whenever you're looking in the Premier League to purchase players, you're going to be paying that premium. It's going to cost you a bit. But Pulisic and also Kovacic, I like the look of them a lot. And with the speed... Just the dribbling that you get from both of the cards and that strong link so you can start a 4-3-3 and you can use whatever strike you want. I think this is going to be awesome. Uh, how much do I predict that they're going to cost? Maybe Pulisic is going to be around like 3,000 or so and then Kovacic probably like um, 10,000, maybe maybe a bit more. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than that. 15, 20,000 during early access in the web app. Uh, I don't know how much he would have really go up to though because um, of the lack of like defending, but just play him as a center mid. I did mention before the players from Italy, you're gonna have some good options and really nice depth. Tonali, Romagnoli. I don't think that Romagnoli is gonna be that expensive. And I know he's 83 rating, they'd be useful for like SBCs. I just can't really see him being like 20,000, 25,000. When we were predicting like a Kanji's price, when he had 80 something speed on FIFA 20, he wasn't anywhere near what people were predicting. So as the Serie A isn't really that desirable, I can see him being a really good value. And then to get that perfect link into Tenali, job done. It's back, boys, the dynamic duo. And what makes it even better is you've got the same league, same nation, and same club. Perfect links all rounds. And it's not going to change. Like, we saw this being used quite a lot at the start of FIFA 20. And even three weeks, a month into the game, Everybody was still using Suzoko for sure. And Dombele is one of those that, yeah, he gets a little outdated, but what he's able to offer with someone like Suzoko, you've got the dribbling, you've got a little bit more control and composure, and then Suzoko is just the one to, to beast and track back and break up the play. So that's going to definitely be expensive. So if you're struggling with defending, you can't catch up your opponent's attackers, and you don't have the budget... Look at these two, 77 pace for the pair of them. And when you consider all the other defenders on the game that have received like 72, 73, that is a really good stat. 70 dribbling and 67, you don't even find that on some of the best defenders on the game. So that's awesome. And then the defending is fine. The physical could be a little bit better. And then the passing is just standard. So for the price, I think this is super value for coins. They're going to be awesome. I know it's not a strong link, but it's going to be good enough and French nation easy to link so we already saw the Italian players now some of the Brazilians well Neres 
we've got already linked up with some other players in this lineup, but Taliska, he always is pretty cheap and great value for coins. His shooting, dribbling, passing pace, if he was in the Premier League, he'd be stupidly expensive. So that's gonna be a great card to use at the start. And then Rodrigo as well, just for that speed down the line. I think I can see that um, being played uh, quite a bit. It's just like you've got to commit with extra Brazilians because you're using Talisca. And I don't think you're gonna mind that too much. There are gonna be a lot more players to pick from on the game. But this is just to get you up and running and try and find those meta overpower cards. I really like that. So now we're just going to quick fire some of the best links that you can get if you have saved up like 100,000, 150,000. God knows how much this is going to set you back. But we're talking the meta for a good month or so. And the first pair or first trio you would have seen, it would have been Valverde, Odegaard, Vinicius Jr. Those players are going to be so use and abuse, especially Udegaard with those stats playing middle cam. He just looks like another Luka Modric or, or like a worse version, but he's got more pace, which is nice. And then that Valverde with that speed dribbling, like physical, oh man, he's gonna be, he's gonna be so meta. It literally is like the cheap Kante, seriously. And what else did I have in that lineup? We've got Longlair, De Jong, Semedo, I think that will be the last one that I show you, but Semedo, 83 rated, still looking unbelievable. He'd be like 25,000 or like 30,000. Uh, Goretzka, Goretzka, Sané and, and Davies. I mean, you're going to have to be trading a lot if you're going to want to earn those. And that's the fun of it. You start at the bottom, you work your way up, get some coins from foot champs, and you put together those meta sides. But if you found this video helpful, uh, please do drop a thumbs up and I'll be producing a few more uh, similar videos like this where we're gonna go through uh, extra players, especially when EA dropped the database. Like, just drop it so I can build some starter teams for you boys. But thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Team out, peace.